Here is the train, and what I wanted to show is setting it in motion, ignoring this first magnet marker, uh, just by moving it out of the way. It's going to move along, forward, past the first marker, and then it's going to start decelerating, and hit that final marker, and it should stop pretty close to that, within an inch. Uh, just to have a look at the train, there is an Arduino at the bottom, a couple of prototype screw shields, and then on top of that is the motor shield, and here's the solenoid and um, teletype key, or uh, whatever you want to call it, Morse key. And there's my lights. Only one of them's hooked up right now. This red one is hooked up to uh, pin 13 to show transmissions. So what I've noticed is that we have a different uh, response on this train to forward and reverse, and I think it's just got to do with the age of the train in this uh, motor here. So I'm going to send it off in forward. So it stopped. Oh, it was blinking. It stopped about uh, an inch, half inch from the motor or from the magnet. And since it's not ignoring that magnet for some reason at the beginning, I'm going to move it out of the way and set it in motion again. So in reverse, it's getting about half the speed. It's really crawling. And it almost dies when it hits the deceleration marker. Give it a shove. The benefit is that it really stops right over that marker, right at the beginning of the magnetic field. That is it.